Hey everybody, the Bong is back. Welcome to part 2 of Let's Play Crash Team Racing, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. If you're here, then I'm glad you're all giving this Let's Play a chance to go beyond one episode and you want to see more. Well, we took out four races in the last episode, which, of course, was the first one, and now we can take on Ripper Roo. Let's see how this is gonna go. I think it's like just a one on one race. But I guess we'll find out. Oh, you just go back to Ruth Tubes. Yeah, yeah, it is a one on one race. I would imagine he'd be pretty tough to deal with. Wow, I kept hopping and I still didn't have enough. Oh god, look at how much uh, TNT is even behind. Take that. Oh god, I, I'm definitely losing my bearings here. <laughs> like, look, look how much he's dropping here. And I kept hopping and the dynamite was still stuck to me. Good lord! I'm glad I'm able to just catch up, but jeez. Can he like throw bombs ahead of me? I don't know. So easily. I think his vehicle is just meant to go faster than mine. And that worries me a little bit. There, two can play at that game. Okay, I got a little bit of height there, but uh. Not doing me any favors. Oh, but I think I did it! I somehow managed to salvage that. That could have gone either way, uh, I swear. Because the first lap was just awful. And then I was able to uh, pick things up. <laughs> Oh, of course, there'd be nobody in third place. But yeah, I got myself a key. So that should allow us to access more stuff. It's crazier than I. But with that key, we can open that gate. Congratulations on opening this new area. Here you will find four more tracks to race. Good luck. Okay, there's something flashing over there. I don't know why. Skull Rock. I think this is a battle course. Collect every crystal in the arena before the time runs out. If you get them all, you will win a prize. Okay, I never tried this before. So hopefully the crystals are easy to get. What is an arena? Does that mean I have to fight? Nope, it's just me. Alright, cool. Alright, I'm not gonna worry too much about, like, uh, the boxes. Jeez, I don't have that much time. Thought I had more than that. Awful lot of crystals over here. Some over here, too. Oh, this to help me get more time. Uh, I 
don't think it does. Hopefully I'm picking a good route for this. Okay, I see what I gotta do. There. That might have cost me a little bit of time. But if I can figure out the... Uh, uh, oh. But if I can figure out the pathfinding, we'll be alright. Two crystals left. Oh, I don't think I'm going to make it. Oh, I have to hop for that one. I got 18 out of 20. I should have grabbed that one over there. But I have to go around this way anyway. Well, okay, I'll just drop suddenly. Because <laughs> I didn't get the ramp momentum. Always gonna be the speed wars to get. Really? How the hell do I get this one then? Do I have to approach it from that side? Oh, it's from this side. Alright, cool. Oh, Another two. I need this. Yes! We did it! And I got the CTR token. Okay, that one's purple. I think the purple ones are just for battles. Okay, I gotcha. I think we can go for these tokens now. Uh, sure, let's try Crash Cove. Oh, you can actually choose which one. We'll go with CTR Challenge. Collect the letters C, T, and R on each track, and come in first place to win a CTR token. Beware, some letters are hard to find. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised in some courses, all of them are hard to find. Alright, so you might have to think about what strategy you're going to do, if you don't know where the letters are. Look for the letters first, maybe restart the race, if you take too much time to look. We'll see. Because it's not enough to just, like, get all the letters. You have to win the race, too. Oh, there's the R. At least you don't have to get them in the same order. <laughs> see, do I notice anything else? Okay, there is a letter right here. I didn't get it. It'll probably turn up again. At least I have two more laps to get it. Ouch. Where's the other one? Is that it? Right there? Hang on, how do I get on that bridge? Busy! Um... Wrong way! I know, I know. Keep your pants on. Oh, that's right, you're just a mask. You don't wear pants. Okay, how do 
do I get on that ship? Oh, I have to get that while I drown. First, and find a way to get up there? Wrong way. What if I don't get one? No. Hope they're not gonna ask me to do that. Oh. How else do I get up there? Oh. Not through that way. I can't just use the other boat or something. There's a bridge over there. I can't hop across it. I feel like I'm missing something blatantly obvious. But what? Let me restart the race. Oh, weird. Well, I just jumped like several places instantaneously. That was pretty cool. particular one is going to be a pain. Here you go. Let's see if I can get a speed burst. Okay, let's see if that is what I need to do. Ah, damn it. God, I really hope I don't have to make a big leap. It doesn't seem like it'd be possible to do. Wait, I can't go under the bridge? That's weird. Too bad. Wrong way. I think there'd be a way to get up there. on that hill, perhaps? Oh, God. Okay, for some reason, my steering wasn't perfect. Still isn't actually. Why am I just. Do I hop across the water? Huh. Why does that work like that? Okay, now I gotta play some catch up. Maybe I should figure out how to get that token first. Let's 
Seriously, what am I doing wrong? Huh? You have to bunny hop through the water? That's so weird! There you go. Yeah, maybe I'll still catch up. Wishful thinking, but it might happen. T is the only letter I need to get. Pass it on. Oh. Yeah, it's not working. Think about this for a moment. Time out, everybody. All right, I'm back. I think I figured it out, and it turns out that it actually was the correct strategy. Just go and do that jump off the ramp. Of course, it's hard to do. But there, we did it. I don't know if I really need to continue going on that pirate ship, so I'm just not. There you go. Okay, so we got two letters. If we can get the uh, C, then it's pretty much smooth sailing the rest of the way. Boom. Yeah! <laughs> Suck on that! Here you go. Oh, another one? You're too kind! Oh, that's actually a really good shortcut. Oh, I wanted to throw that backwards, but that's okay. There. Try taking that speed first now. <laughs> Just remember, we gotta do this for pretty much every course. Like, getting letters and whatnot. That's not going to be an easy task by any stretch of the imagination, given how difficult some of them are to get. But we'll make it work somehow. That's a force feeling, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah, still need to work on my drifting. I mean, I can't be like some people that can actually drift on straightaways. I'm not that good at racing games. We got the red CTR token. Nice. I think there are other CTR tokens that are red. So we'll be on the lookout for those too. Uh, let's go back to Crash Cove. I'm going to try the Relic Race. Get the lowest time you can by racing fast and breaking time crates. Each time crate you break will freeze the clock. If you achieve a low enough time, you will be awarded a relic. Okay, so it's typical like the other crash games where you, you gotta go as fast as you can and there are crates that can actually stop time. I guess I'm just racing by myself, because it seems like a glorified time trial. Right, let's see how many of those I'll actually require. Nice, nice. Good time there. There was some out across the bridge, too. So, of course, get those if you can. Boom. Okay, you know what? I don't think I get them all at once. Work lap by lap. 
That would make the most sense. Okay. I think I'm doing pretty well. I haven't missed many crates. In fact, I hardly missed... Whoa, why did I start turn there? Um, I haven't really missed much. I'm just not drifting as much as I'd like to. Because I can't afford to make any big mistakes. What if I drift past the barrel or crate? Whoa, just nick that one. I wonder what happens if you get them all. like that use the brakes there but that's okay I think we still got a good chance There's one here uh, I think I missed one you know what settle for sapphire 31 I mean, you didn't have to get every single one, but it would help. Okay, it's uh, Sapphire. You know what? That's fine. Uh, save high score. Oh, I did better than Dingo, who took like 9 minutes and 59 seconds. Wow. Just totally lame. Okay, so I'm probably not going to have to worry about getting, like, every relic above <laughs> Sapphire. But, yeah. Great. You burned a relic. You can go faster through turns by power sliding. To access the power slide, Press and hold the R1 button while turning. Yeah, you can press the triangle button to skip these. Because why would I need to know how to power slide if I'd done it before? Okay, so why don't we actually just go and do all the other races as normal? And then we'll go do the challenges afterwards. I think that's where I want to take this uh, Let's Play right now. I'm just gonna go over here because apparently saving your uh, score does not count as saving the game. Keep that in mind. Alright, we're gonna stop here and in the next part, well, uh, actually, before we end the episode, why don't we go see what courses we have? We just gotta go through here. Oh, I need 10 relics for this one. And... Oh. You must first collect the required number of relics to race this track. I need 10. And I need gems. Which I don't have, obviously. Turbo track, it's called. Okay. So, apparently there are no tracks accessible here. Unless you fulfill certain conditions. Is this like the main area? I think that's Nitrous Oxide's ship. I can't see what's beyond there because I don't have two keys. I think we're actually supposed to go across this. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Because now there are some races available. Okay, this looks like a bunch of ruins. Alright, so let me stop here, and in the next part, we'll actually do these races. See ya, everybody.